हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन द टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन एक्सेस द गूगल एड सेंस डेटा लाइक गूगल कैंपेन्स एंड की वर्ड्स सो ऑल दिस डेटा वाई ए पी आई सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन लॉग इन विद गूगल इन द पोस्ट मैन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल यूज द सेम यूजर एंड प्रोजेक्ट which we have uh, created in the last video so to access the uh, google adsense data first we need our test account so you can follow this link to create a test account so i will put all these links into the description and go to this create test manager account so when you click on this account you will uh, see this page and let's create a google account test google account let's say test मनीचर सो क्लिक ऑन सबमिट एंड एक्सप्लोर योर अकाउंट सो वी हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड अ टेस्ट मनीजर अकाउंट फॉर गूगल एडसेंस सो दिस इज अवर टेस्ट अकाउंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो लेट्स फैच द लिस्ट ऑफ मनीजर्स यूजिंग द ए पी आई टू एक्सेस द लिस्ट ऑफ मनीजर्स वी कैन यूज दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन for the rest apis we can use this documentation rest interface so click on version 13 and uh, here you will find the customers so in the customers tab list accessible customers so here is the url so you can use this url to access the resources of the customers so i have this url a uh, list accessible customer so let's log in with the user first so i have set up this project in the last video so you can follow that video so click on login this is a new token and use token so let's use this token new token and send this request so as you can see we had insufficient authentication scope permission so let's see what scopes we need so you can scroll down and here is the list of scopes you need for this url so copy this scope and when we are creating the token so we have to add this scope space and paste this scope so let's create new access token login with code sagar dev continue after that this will ask for the permissions for google adsense account continue and open postman proceed use this token so let's say all scopes use this token and here we have to switch the token all and send google adds ap is not enable so click go to the project so here is the enabled ap is add ap search for the add the ap so we have to enable this api so this is the google cloud project i have set up in the last video so let's try to fetch list of users so as you can see this is only one customer in my google account so let's verify this is my google account so i have only one manager in my account with the id 374933 374933 so in this way you can access the list of accessible customers so next if we want to access the full details of this customer so we can use next api we can go to rest references and click on examples 
and here is the API. So we can use this Google Ads search API. So in this API, we have to add a query. So what we need to change in this API? Let's create a new request. I already have created this request. So if you see, this is the URL. I have copied this URL from here. And next you have to copy this client ID. So you have to change this ID here. And next in the authorization, we have to select the token which we have just created. So in the header section, we need a developer token. So so I have a different uh, AdSense account. So in this account, we have to go to Tools and Settings and then click on AP Center. And here you can find your developer token. So this is my different account. This is not a test account. So you need an actual account for the developer token. So you can copy this token and use this token here. So let's try to send this request. So in this request you can see test manager. So here is the test manager account. You can see with ID this. So this is the test manager account which we have just created. So let's try to add one client in the account. Let's go to accounts and performance. And here we can add one new client in our test manager account. Create new test client one. Save. So we have created one test client in our manager account. So let's try to fetch the list of clients again. Now you will find two users. One is test client one, which we have just created. And one is test manager. This is the manager account. And this is the client account, which we have just created. So in this way, we can access the list of managers and clients with this API. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will create one campaign and fetch the list of campaigns via API. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.